Today I am working on chapter six of Drawing on the Right Side of the Brain by Betty Edwards. And in this chapter it's called Perceiving Edges. And we're going to work on contour lines. Um, and um, just a quick review of the five perceptual skills of drawing Betty teaches. Um, number one, perception of edges. Uh, number two, perception of spaces. The three, the perception of relationships. Four, the perception of lights and shadows. Five, the perception of the whole. So in this exercise, um, she's teaching us about contour lines, which are um, the lines um, that create the shape of things. They could be delineating lines. Uh, for example, the horizon line is the edge of the sky and the edge of the horizon. Um, on a portrait, you'd have the edge of a face, and it could also be the, the edge of the wall behind it. Uh, so um, there's a good video I watched by the Student Art League of New York that uh, I'll put a link below, um, especially good for oil painters about this very subject. Um, but here um, we're doing an exercise where I'm drawing actually the scrunched up palm in my hand. And the point is we're again uh, trying to, uh, we, like we did in the upside down drawing, uh, where the left brain drops out. Um, again, we're forcing the left brain to draw, drop out due to the monotony and boring um, be, uh, <laughs> the boringness, I guess I'll just say, of this task because um, we're not supposed to look at our paper. We are supposed to allow 30 minutes. I set my timer for 20 and I honestly, after 10 minutes, am done. <laughs> I just, I blame it on the fact that I'm super extremely nearsighted. So when I wear my corrective lenses, I honestly can't see very much close up. And that might be also one reason why people say I have a very painterly style that's not got a lot of fine details is uh, because maybe I'm not seeing those fine details. Um, when I take my contact out, I can see microscopic details. Um, if I'm looking like one inch, if my eyeballs one inch from the, the object, but otherwise, um, with especially with my contacts in, I cannot see anything. So after about nine minutes of this, I'm, um, I'm done. I just honestly, I can't see anything else to draw. Um, so uh, I, did, I did notice she has some examples from her students and some have a lot more fine lines and details. So I, I feel like um, if I had my contacts out, I would definitely see a lot more than I'm seeing right now. Um, but uh, she talks about uh, some of the emotions we might feel during this exercise and one is that it's kind of useless and this is our left brain talking uh, what's the point uh, again I kept thinking uh, I felt bad because I felt almost handicapped because I can't hardly see anything um, and I knew that I was not because I wasn't looking at my paper I knew that I was not um, even drawing ex accurately what you're seeing in my the palm of my hand because I'm lifting my pen or pencil up and then putting it down again who knows where so um, I'm feeling bad about that um, she says that um, after a while we should kind of get into a, a flow where our, when our left brain drops out and we're just kind of enjoying and being fascinated by the minute detail. And I have to admit, I did not get to that point at all. Um, here, I literally stopped and I just felt like I was done. So I wasn't going to force it anymore. Um, so now she does like, say, try something else, uh, do a few more exercises like this. So I'm doing a, a blueberry since it's super tiny that I had taken a bite out of. I figured that's something kind of boring and monotonous. So um, there is something interesting about this practice and that's to um, help you 
besides uh, get out of your left brain is just um, it, it is very therapeutic and um, it does force you to see things that you wouldn't normally um, your left brain just doesn't have time for so um, again I'm not going to look at the paper but I am going to try to draw the details I see on the blueberry so um, here is uh, that the second work I do and you you could pick anything she says a pair of scissors a piece of fruit anything really uh, just just try this exercise a few times and so afterwards uh, she talks about how um, you know it's really kind of beautiful very intricate it's no it's not gonna look like a hand um, when you're done so um, but it's a very complex object of work and uh, I do like how she says um, no one in their left mind would do a drawing like that <laughs> and that's kind of the beauty of it is that it's the kind of in intricacy and uh, detail that you don't get when you're in your left brain so um, this is very important uh, to do this project before we move on um, so we're going to do um, another drawing of our hand after this and for that drawing, uh, we're going to make a picture plane. So I'm going to have actually a another video about how to make the picture plane uh, because it's one that we can actually draw on. Here's a little diagram of it. And then we'll do this next exercise. So stay tuned for that. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you try this as well.